hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is nike and this is cook with nike i hope everybody is doing well if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by on today's menu we're going to be frying some herrings or emane yes that's what we're going to be eating today So I have my herrings right there. As you can see, this has already been cleaned. I got it from the fish market, so I asked them to clean it for me. You could leave the gut in there to give it some um, volume, like make it a little bit heavier, but I didn't want it, so I took it out. But make sure you let them descale it, okay? In an empty bowl, I added about four cups of water. I'm going to be seasoning my fish with this um, fish flavored um, seasoning. You could use any um, seasoning of your choice. And I'm also going to be using like a quarter of the shrimp tablet. Um, that is optional. If you don't like it, you could use any seasoning of your choice. So I put all the seasoning in the water. And I'm going to be adding another seasoning. This is the garlic, ginger, and onion powder. I got this from the African store too. Um, you could use any seasoning of your choice, but this brings a lot of flavor to the fish. So the reason why I'm putting my seasoning in water before I put the fish in it is because emane or the herrings, it's really soft. It's not hard like tilapia or those kind of fish that you could put like your dry seasoning in there, use your hand to massage it or not. It's going to tear apart. Herrings is really soft. It's going to tear apart if you like handle it a lot. So that's why I'm putting it in water. It's going to soak in there for about 10 to 15 minutes and we're going to fry. This is the best way to fry your um, herrings or emane. So it's been 10 to 15 minutes now. You could do it less, like 5 minutes. It doesn't have to. I just had time so I let it sit in there for 10 to 15 minutes. I took the emane out and put it in a strain. I want the water to um, drain up a little bit before I fry it. Draining up the excess water also prevents the oil from splashing on you. When there's a lot of water in the fish, it splashes a lot. So make sure you drain it, okay? I started frying the fish. Before I put the uh, fish in the oil, I put a little bit of flour in the oil. This is to prevent the fish from tearing apart. As I said, m and you have to handle it with care. Otherwise, it's going to tear apart. And the flour helps it a lot from not tearing apart. I also sprinkle a little bit of um, flour on top. This is also to prevent it from tearing apart. Herrings are really soft kind of fish. So we want to try every best to prevent it from tearing apart, especially when you're frying it. My fish have been frying for 10 minutes on medium heat and I'm flipping it to the other side. Guys, can you see how crunchy that looks? Yes, I did fry for additional five minutes and my fish was ready. You don't want it to over fry it, otherwise it's going to be too crunchy and like too dry. You want it crunchy on the outside and soft and moist in the inside. At this point, I'm trying to take the little bit of fish that was left in the oil um, from frying the fish. Um, take it out before you add your second batch of fish. Usually if you don't take that out, it's going to continue frying and it's going to like burn so fast and it's going to be attached to your second batch of fish and it's going to be bitter and you don't want that. So make sure you take that out. This is the part that I didn't get in the first batch of fish that was frying. Um, I sprinkled the flour in the oil before I added the fish. So make sure you don't forget that part. It helps the fish to not tear apart. The second or third batch of fish usually doesn't take long to fry because the oil is already hot. So always make sure you lower your heat to like medium low before uh, you fry your second or the third batch. Otherwise it's going to um, burn and you don't want that. And our fish is done. Our herrings, fried herrings or emane is done and look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks. What do you want to pair with this? Your kinky, whatever you want to pair it. But I'm going to be pairing mine with some gari that is eba. Yes, I know usually you could have this with some kinky but I was in the mood for some eba and it was good. Have you tried this with eba before? Give it a try and I know you're going to love it. 
and this is how I prepare my garibanku or my eba. All I do is add a little bit of salt and water, bring it to a bowl and add my gari to it, stir it to prevent lumps. Or you could do this in the microwave if you're not comfortable um, doing this on the stove. And that's it guys, that was it. And since I'm going to be eating this with um, pepper sauce and fish, uh, I wanted my gari to be a little bit harder. So I added more gari to it. But if I'm going to be eating this with like okra soup or any other soup, I'll make it softer. So it's all depend on how you want your gari more softer. Just add more water. If you want it harder, just add more um, gari to it. And that's it. You're good to go. And I'm done with my gari banku or eba. I'm just putting this in a clean film to mold it. As I said earlier on, you could have this fish with your rice, with your banku, with your kenke. Uh, what else can you have with this? I think that's it. Well, anything you want to pair with this, you are good to go. And yes, my gari banku is ready. I have some sliced up onions my scallions, my um, tomatoes, and my shito and my red pepper sauce. And guys, this was good. This was really good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you give this a try and I know you're gonna love it. Until I come your way next time, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, like and share. This is Cook with Naki. Be good to yourself. Be good to everybody. It goes a long way.